Well, we saw some rain over the weekend, but that really hasn't brought us up much. Now, it was the most that we've seen so far this month. October to date has seen just around a tenth of an inch. That weekend storm brought us just under a tenth of an inch. Normally, so far this year, we're seeing three quarters of an inch of rain. So we have a lot of ground to make up, and we are going to be sunny and dry for the foreseeable future. That said, we do look to our six to ten day precipita precipitation outlook, which brings us October 27th through the 30th. First, the green indicates that we as a state will be likely wetter than normal, which is something we haven't seen in some time. Now, until then, plenty of sunshine and dry weather as high pressure has compressed our air, keeping things quiet and clear. A weak cold front comes through Thursday into Friday, and that will bring our temperatures down from the 70s to the 60s. But other than that, not expecting a lot of weather related changes besides the cooler temperatures. Thursday will be a little breezy ahead of that front arriving, but precipitation chances increase heading into next week. We're looking at this big area of low pressure from the Pacific Northwest, the Gulf of Alaska, that will be sliding inland heading into the weekend for the Pacific Northwest, but reaching our area by about Monday night. And that will bring our next chance at some cold, some snow, and some rain. But it's still a ways out. The details of it are still a little muddy because we still have so much time. So we will continue to keep our eye on that, but it does look to be our next big change maker in our our weather. Otherwise, satellite and radar is going to look a lot like this heading through the next five to seven days. Future cast will be very quiet. We're looking at maybe a few passing clouds late this evening into northern Colorado, but expect plenty of sunshine to carry you through the day today and the next several days. 75 for an afternoon high at the airport, 75 into Fort Collins as well, upper 70s, low 80s down into the southeast as the high country heads into the 50s and 60s. Ward today, 55 degrees. Niwot getting to 75. Boulder, 75 as well. As you look toward Arapahoe County neighborhood, Centennial, 73. But the rest of our neighborhoods in Arap Arapahoe County expecting to get to 75. We're running about 10 degrees warmer than normal, and that's kind of where we'll hang out through Thursday. We will be breezy Thursday, as mentioned, ahead of that weak cold front that comes in on Friday. We still stay sunny on Friday. We're just going to see our temperatures slide from the 70s to the 60s and then back into the 70s by the weekend. But there's those big changes Monday into Tuesday. So we will continue to keep our eye on that, but it does look like that will be our next best chance at some precipitation. 